Peekaboo, everyone! Welcome back to Cozy Bus. Are you ready for new stories? I live with my roommate and her three year old child. My roommate is a fourth year medical student and is really struggling, having to balance with the child, intense study workload, chores, and part time jobs to afford rent, babysitter, and necessities. On the day of the biggest exam of her entire degree, her babysitter canceled last minute. She was absolutely frantic and hysterically called every one of her contacts to help. Of course, she asked me. She has asked me to babysit before and I always give her a stern no. It's not the time that I need to spend since I'm perfectly fine with swapping around chores, but the principle that I must be responsible for the child for the duration. For example, if the child hurts himself, no matter how badly, it would be on me. And I refuse to take the responsibility for something like that, so I always refuse to babysit. She begged and begged me and since the journey to her exam is almost two hours away and she needed to go now, she just said, I don't fucking care and left the house. Frankly, I found this quite disrespectful as it's trying to push me to babysit without my consent. Right after she left, I grabbed my coat and also left. She was starting her car when she saw me and asked what I was doing. I told her that I was going to watch a movie. I lied. I just refused to babysit without consent. Her eyes dropped and I could see the tears forming as she started begging me more to help her. I still explained the same thing, that it's not the time or effort, but the responsibility. She told me that she would sign a waiver that states that I'm 100% not responsible no matter what happens. I'm not an expert in law, but I'm not sure if a waiver is even legally enforceable. Even so, it still carries a responsibility risk, so I stand my ground. Eventually, she became quiet and started sobbing whilst hitting herself. I, as respectfully as I can, asked if there's anything I can help with that does not involve babysitting the child. She told me to fuck off, so I did, and I actually went to watch a movie. It's been a few weeks and she still absolutely refuses to communicate with me. She still does her share of chores and we were pretty separate beforehand, so it wasn't that much of a difference in day-to-day -day life. I do feel pretty bad since I've seen from the past two years we've lived together that she has almost no free time and always sleeps later than me and wakes up earlier than me to cram a little bit of extra study time. I know the exam meant a lot to her and missing the exam might jeopardize her entire degree of four years. It sucks that her efforts for the past two years have gone on the drain, but that's not an excuse to cross my bottom line. Am I the asshole for forcing my roommate to miss her final exam that she spent two years studying for? This was a one-time huge exam and emergency on her part. It's not like she had dumped her child on you before. I hope she moves out and finds a better roommate and friend. I'm a the asshole for not wanting to donate my egg to my sister. My sister has had a lot of infertility issues and just overall really hard time getting pregnant. Well, she wants to have a kid and she wants it to be as biological as possible. She recently asked me if she could have one of mine. The thing is, I'm just really not comfortable with that. I don't want my niece or nephew to be biologically mine. I told her all of my concerns, and at first she was okay with it. Then a couple days later, she comes back at me, asking again and trying to persuade me. I told her my answer again was no, and that it's not going to happen. She got super mad and we ended up fighting. She said that I'm being a terrible sister and just really ruining her dreams. Her husband has even got mad at me too, and of course, my mom. They all really want her to have a grandkid, and I guess it's only possible if I help. As bad as I feel, I'm just not comfortable with it. So... Am I the asshole? Should I have handled this differently? No, they can't force you, and I understand your concerns. My husband signed up for my sister's only friends. Should I divorce him? Disclaimer, not my story time is done me on Instagram. My husband and I have a really toxic relationship. When he and I first started dating, I was extremely jealous. I would instigate fights almost every single day. Now that we're married, I'm definitely less jealous, but he's always been jealous throughout our relationship. He tries to control everything I do, down to the way I dress and even the people I can or cannot hang out with. He even insisted that I quit my job, which I did. He's invested a lot in tesla and crypto so he makes a lot of money without having to leave the house which yes is totally amazing but that means he and i are together all the time and with his jealousy sometimes i just can't stand him i've tried to help him with his jealousy because i used to be in that place and when i try to talk to him about it he just gets mad at me whenever he sees that i post something on instagram he gets angry he says that i'm looking for attention which of course i am but not from guys everyone posts on social media because they want to show off their life a little on my sister we're identical twins and we're really really close unfortunately my sister got laid off from her job last year that's when she decided to start her only friends. I support her in everything she wants to do. She's actually making really good money from it, so she's really happy about it. A few days ago, I got on my husband's phone to look for something. When I see my sister's pictures, part two is up. My husband signed up for my sister's only friends. Should I divorce him? Disclaimer is not my story time. It's not on Instagram. A few days ago, I got on my husband's phone to transfer some money from his account to mine. When I started looking for his banking app, I noticed something else on his screen. I had never seen this before, so I clicked on it. And as soon as I opened it, I see my sister's pictures. And I knew it was her only friends right away. By the way, I had never told my husband that my sister had an only friends. She wouldn't even post about it on her social media. So the fact that he found it makes me believe that he had my phone bugged or something. But here's the thing. He was using a different name for his account. So it was likely that my sister did not know it was him. From there, I could see that he was following a bunch of other girls. And when I went to their messages, he had paid over hundreds of dollars every single day to all of these girls. Can you imagine how much money that is? My husband came into the room and saw me on his phone. Of course, he didn't freak out because he never thought that I would find it. But I confronted him right away. But he didn't even flinch. He said he had every right to go on OnlyFans because it was the same thing as going to any website. I told him to at least unfollow my sister and he said that he wouldn't. He said he loved it because it was like watching me do naughty things. Then he said, isn't this better than cheating on you? I was flabbergasted. Part three is up.
Husband signed up for my sister's only friends. Should I divorce him? Disclaimers is not my story time. It's on me on Instagram. That's when he told me that it was better than him cheating on me. And I was shocked. I couldn't think of anything else to say, so I threatened him. I told him that if he didn't stop following my sister, that I would start my own only friends account. Like I said, he's really jealous. So he went berserk. He ripped my phone out of my hand and threw it against the wall. Then he told me that the only reason he asked me to quit my job was so that I wouldn't be around other men. By the way, I used to be a personal trainer. And most of the time, I would only train women. I told him that my sister and I wouldn't be comfortable with him looking at our only friends. It was so disturbing. Oh, and I also told him that he needed to stop controlling me and that I could buy my own phone with my own money and start my own account. Then he came to his senses and started to apologize. And I also told him that I was suspecting that he bugged my phone and that he was receiving my messages because there was no other way he could have found out about my sister's account. Then he calmed down and explained things to me. He said that he had bugged my phone a few months ago because I was posting too much on Instagram and it was bothering him. So basically, he has access to my DMs and all my text messages. He promised to stop doing that and that he would buy me a new phone. And that that's how he found out about my sister's only friends. He said he only signed up out of curiosity. And that he only wanted to see a few pictures and then delete it. But the more he kept looking at her pictures, the more he would think of me. And that it turned him on. And in front of me, he deactivated his account and deleted everything. He promised me that he would never do that again. Of course, I haven't forgiven him though. I haven't even spoken to him in days but every time he sees me he tries to kiss me and hug me and when i push him away he tries even harder honestly i think he likes it i do believe that he's secretly addicted to drama and that he thrives on it i'm planning on never telling my sister about it I don't think she'd feel comfortable around him ever again i mean i don't feel comfortable around him right now i'm so confused and i don't know if i should leave him or not he's so controlling all the time what should i do I wish someone would. Am I the asshole for ditching my wife at the mall because she was taking too long? <sighs> Let's get into it. I'm a 34-year-old man and my wife is 29. We've been married for five years. Since we started dating, she's always taken her sweet time doing everything. Getting dressed, doing makeup, eating, whatever it is, she takes forever. I'm generally patient, but I get extremely anxious when I'm late for something with a scheduled starting time. Alone, I've never been late for anything, but with her in tow, I'm late for everything. The most frustrating thing is that she seemingly has no ability to comprehend that she's making people wait. If you mention it, she'll get defensive and a few years ago, one of her best friends dumped her because she was tired of her lateness. Am I the asshole for ditching my wife at the mall because she was taking too long? Last night we saw a movie and going to the mall before the movie started was a battle itself. Miraculously, with the prospect of doing some shopping before it, she was able to gather her necessary belongings and get there with time to spare. She started shopping until it was time to get to the theater. When I told her, she was talking to a sales clerk and told me to hold on. I waited until she started taking jeans off the shelves to try on new combinations and the previews had already started. I told her again and she said we could just skip the previews. I walked away, which she didn't notice, turned off my phone and enjoyed the movie myself. On my way out of the theater, I saw her and she was upset I ditched her. I didn't feel bad and told her I'd do it again. Please share your opinion about the stories you like. Check the description to see the timestamps of the stories.